Okay, there's something strange afoot. D has released the images you see on screen right now on their official Twitter account, which leads me to believe that there might be a bit more lore behind the gods than I initially thought. I'm going to read them to you as they released them, and these are the ones they released so far. First, there's Caliban. Caliban crouches in coming led dread, heir to two kingdoms and ruler of none, split from his feet to the crown of his head, ravaging pretty prey, see how they run. Named for a monster was Caliban I, but what of Dark Degoth? Who named her and why? Okay. And then we have Gruda. Gruda soars on dark skies, talon stained red, queen clad in ruins, slaughter and gore, with endless bloodlust and a mare of dread, claws that seek out her enemy's core. She draws her title from the winged divine, on the goth's true tale only one shall opine. Okay, okay, things are getting a little bit interesting, so Let's go on to the next one. Yes, there's more. There's Necros. Necros float through graves full of dead. The reaper with shadows and sight held in tow. Blade of desecration, cutting life's thin thread. Tethered souls at his side poured from depths below. Necromancer's title is Necros to behold, but who named the goth who would be so bold? Okay, I like that. I like that quite a bit. And then the last, well, second to last one we got so far at the time of recording this, Dark priest preaching to the fallen and evil. Redemption through violence is his dark calling. Penance for sins by sermons so lethal. Virtues of hero leave heretics crawling. Hero's name for a tour tilling at the fields, whence comes the goths, what might her blades yield? And then the last one we have at the time of recording that is none other than Mr. Revenant himself. Spectral Eidolon glow within his core. The former warden stands watch once again. A monument to Akrabi, a ghost pulled from lore, a horrifying form rathered in mezzo skin. A monkey of one who returned from the grave, but to explore the gulf's story who would be so brave? And that is all the ones we have right now. I don't know if more will be updated. If you're watching this video after we get more information on it, I'll do my best to make an update video. I just find this crazy because I don't think DE has actually done potentially stuff like this before. 
It seems like these frames could possibly have something to do with the Guff's law. I don't know. We have, of course, Caliban, which is a summoner frame of sorts, a sentient summoner frame. We have Gruda, which is a killing machine of sorts, the Queen of Gore, I guess we can call her. Then we have Necros, the Necromancer. And then we have the Dark Priest himself, Hero. And then finally, we have none other than Revenant, the guard of the Eidolons. I don't know. But yeah, and all five of them together, they're definitely not the Power Rangers, but maybe they do give power to the ranger, which is the goth. Yes, I know that was a stretch. That's why I'm going to end it here. Let me know your thoughts. Comment section below. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.